Hi, I'm Val Corum and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a video on some recipes for Drug Dealer Simulator. Alright, let's get started and please remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment as it really does help me out. The first recipe I'm showing you is a recipe to use at the very start of the game. This will help stretch out your amphetamine so you can make a little bit more money because money is very crucial pretty early on. Alright, first things first. We get our amphetamine, we put it on our mixing tray. So early on we're just going to get in 10, so we'll just use a recipe of 10. Let me get some baking soda, which you get from the gas station. And I'm going to put in 3 grams of that. Then we'll apply the mix, and we can call it whatever you want to call it. And that's pretty much it. There will be a loss, because the mixing tray isn't lossless, like other things you can get later on, but early on in the game this is all you have. So this is a nice one, you'll get 12 point something, 12.936, put it in a jar, and now you've got 12 grams of amp you can sell to your customers instead of just the 10 that you ordered. This recipe is a very common one, and I personally use it for both amphetamine and cocaine. You do see this recipe called Blue Amp when it's used with amphetamine. This recipe will help you get addicted clients, and so far I haven't had any clients that overdose on this either. Alright, let's have a look. So in this case I've just got cocaine here, so we'll put in 10 grams. Then we put in 1 gram of ibuprofen and 2 grams of sugar. We apply that mix, give it a name, and that's basically it. Nice mix that, especially when you're using a large mixer so it's lossless, so you go from 10 grams to 13 grams that you can sell. And as I said, it's a great recipe to get addicted to clients and no overdosing. This next recipe is also a common one, which can be used with both amphetamine and cocaine. You do see this recipe called Gonzales if it's used with amphetamine, or Yayo when used with cocaine. This recipe, again, will also help you with getting addicted clients. All right, let's have a look. So again, we'll do this in small batches of 10 grams. The so 10 grams of coke. Then we have two grams of baking soda and one gram of sugar. We apply that mix and there you have it. Nice and simple. And again, because we're using a large lab mixer, it's lossless and we're going to get 13 grams for every 10. This recipe is the one that I use for the gang La Balena. There are most likely better recipes out there, but this is the one I use as it's simple, cheap, and I've never had any issues with a gang not accepting the delivery. All right, let's have a look. As I said, really simple. 300 grams of coke and 100 grams of sugar. Apply the mix, give it a name, and that's it. This recipe is the one that I use for the Kaiji Gang. I don't normally play around with them too much, but this is the one that works for me, and it's pretty simple to make. All right, first off, we put one gram of acetone into a flask. Then we get 60 grams of meth and 40 grams of sugar. We apply that mix. Then once that mix is finished, we then put it into a crystallizer and we crystallize the contents and then it's ready to sell. All right, this last recipe I'm gonna show you is one that I use for all my late game mixes. It's one that I've come up with and I thought I'd share it with you. It's made up of two parts, which I call mixer, and the other part which I call base. I then combine these two parts to make my final product, which I call final. Now you can use any names you like if you want to use this. All right, let's start with part one, the mixer. The first step is we put one gram of acetone into a flask, 50 grams of Viagra into the flask, and 349 grams of weed into the flask. Then I apply this and I call it mixer. Now I use dried weed here. You can use wet weed, but keep in mind that once you go to the next step and put it in the crystallizer, it will halve the product. Whereas if you use dried weed, it's already been halved through the dryer. Okay, now that the mixer has been done in the flask, it's time to transfer it over to the crystallizer. And we apply that and we crystallize the contents. 
Once the crystallizer is finished, we then need to grab the contents, put it into our simple mortars and grind it up so it's ready for the next stage. We mill the contents in there and we're ready to go for the next stage. Okay, now let's make the second part, which I call base. To do that, we use 400 grams of sugar, 400 grams of baking soda, 150 grams of ibuprofen, and 50 grams of fentanyl. Pop that all on the mixer, we apply it, and as I said, I call that one base. Now that we have the two parts mixed, it's time to make the final product, which I call final. And this is as simple as mixing a 50-50 mix of both mixer and base. So to show you that, we'll just do 200 of mixer and 200 of base. Then we apply that mix, and I always call it final. And that's it. Then I use this mix with amphetamine, cocaine and heroin, and I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. I hope these recipes can help you out in your game. Thank you for watching, and please remember to like, subscribe, or leave a comment, as it really does help me out.